Today on the 30-minute chart, the market formed a double top yesterday with the all-time high, so the current context on the higher time frame is a trading range. Most trading ranges are flags for continuation in the direction of the existing trend, so the expected breakout direction is to the upside, unless the trading range goes sideways for several days. Either way, we are not concerned with this, since there is no breakout until there is a breakout. Context for today's open. Today opens as a gap down within the bear channel going into yesterday's close. Since yesterday's bear channel formed a sideways trading range going into the close, that sideways range was likely a final flag for the bear channel. Today's gap down is a possible final move down in the bear trend, so it's reasonable to stay flat for the open. Also, the market is opening around the middle of the trading range on the higher time frame, which is not a great place to be initiating intraday swing trades. Wait until the market reaches either our supply or demand zone that we have marked on the higher time frame. An II, or inside bar followed by another inside bar, is often a final flag when it appears late in a trend. The safest way to trade it is to wait for the final push to complete and then place a stop limit order below a bar closing in the opposite direction beyond the II pattern. Unfortunately, the market did not close a bear bar below the II pattern for me to short below. The way I like to trade supply zones is to short below bodies entering the supply zone. If I get stopped out twice, then I do not take any more shorts from the supply zone, since that means a low two from the zone has failed. Also, I do not trade a second time from the same supply zone after a successful trade from that zone. Notice also that the bull trend went sideways between bars 1521, which is usually a final flag late in a trend, so it's reasonable to expect a reversal down. On the higher time frame, we have a bull breakout of a bear channel, which should lead to a test of the low, can be a higher low, before a major trend reversal upward. Since we have conflicting patterns here, it's important to move your stop loss a few ticks beyond your entry price after the market has moved halfway to your target. Don't short from the same supply zone again after a successful trade, or if you didn't take it, a successful potential trade. Paper trading is a good way to track these. If the market had not reached our profit target and run our stop, we would have closed the short for roughly break-even, and then looked for a long to catch the correction of the bear channel. Bear wedge. Unlike bear channels, which often offer reliable low two setups, and also low one setups in a supply zone. Bullish moves are most reliable if taken after a good signal bar near a channel low or the moving average. For example, if you went long above the high 2 bar 60, you would be stopped out. Going long above good signal bar 64 at the high of last month, a reasonable support level, and at the 20 EMA would have also yielded 8.25 points. Arguably, you could have also entered long above 48, but that is difficult to do since it did not close above the high of last month, which at that time was resistance, and the market at the time was in a bear trend. As you will notice, there were only two intraday swing trades today based on the 30-minute chart. The market often offers between two to four such setups a day, so it's important to be patient and wait for them. The key is to have a strong understanding of the market cycle, price action, and to use trading concepts such as supply and demand where they are useful to catch additional setups. Since most intraday swing trades offer incredible risk reward, my recommendation is to set a daily loss limit of $300. Assuming you are trading 5 MES contracts with an average stop loss size of 6 points, this would allow you to take 2 attempts a day to catch these moves. A trading range often breaks out in the direction of the preceding trend move, so the market is likely to gap up tomorrow as a breakout above the trading range on the higher time frame. 
that breakout should be followed by a breakout test for a possible measured move-up of the range or failure and rejection back into the range for a test of the bottom.